Hi there. I'm Bill Hader, your host for TCM's Essentials Junior. Our last movie this summer is one of the greatest westerns ever made and a personal favorite of mine. It's Alan Ladd and Gene Arthur and director George Stevens' Shane. Ladd stars as the title character, a drifter who signs on as a ranch hand for Joe Sterrett, played by Van Heflin, a struggling homesteader who is being harassed by an evil cattle baron. Shane is actually a former gunslinger, trying to leave his old life behind. But when the cattle baron becomes violent, Shane straps on the six shooters again and stands up for the good guys. There's a grandeur to Shane that you'll see right away in the cinematography and on-location shooting near Wyoming's Grand Teton Mountains. There are key myths of the West that are explored here, but the film is kept emotionally grounded because of the Starrett's young son, Joey, played wonderfully by Brandon DeWilda. You can call me Shane. Little Joey adores Shane and what he represents, a powerful, stoic hero who just wants to do the right thing. Alan Ladd is perfect as Shane. He brings a blend of world weariness and decency to the character. Van Heflin is wonderfully sympathetic as Joe Starrett, and in her last film, Jean Arthur gives a subtle, multi-layered performance as the frontier wife and mother, Marion Starrett. And last but not least is Jack Palance as the steely-eyed killer for hire. There's an unforgettable scene between him and Elisha Cook Jr. that is absolutely shocking. So here from 1953, produced and directed by George Stevens, Alan Ladd as Shane.